Hey, it's John. Back again with another review back in the car. Amazing. The reason I'm in the car is because I'm doing a test product. So I had to go and find the test location for it. Um, so, I'm at Taco Bell. Taco Bell is testing out a white hot ranch. That's supposed to be a spicier than their typical spicy ranch because it has ghost peppers or Carolina Reaper peppers in it. Something in the ranch sauce that makes it way more hot than their typical spicy ranch sauce. And I got it in two ways. Uh, you can get it with a steak burrito or with the loaded uh, nacho fries. And so I got both of them in this bag here. Uh, so if you're, uh, in, if you're familiar with uh, ways to find out which places are new and which uh, locations have new products, uh, Chew Boom is a website that does a lot of the new products that are out there. Uh, so I saw this listed as testing in Chicago. All the uh, news articles that were linked to it specifically said testing in Chicago. I was immediately skeptical because it's never really in Chicago, and I was correct. I have a pet peeve when things say that they're in Chicago. Why not just say near Chicago, around Chicago, in the Chicagoland area? Why must say say in Chicago? In Chicago, there is a specific border where within that border is in Chicago outside of the border is not in Chicago. So, how did I figure out where this place was that would have this? Um, I contacted the Twitter, Facebook, Instagram of all of the Taco Bells uh, that I could that I find, and the Facebook one replied to me and asked me where I was at. I said, I'm in Chicago, the city. I live in Chicago. And I said, well, what's your specific Taco Bell that's closest to you? So I showed them the Taco Bell that's closest to me. And they said, okay, the closest one that has it is here. And where am I? I'm in Melrose Park. Melrose Park is not in Chicago. In fact, it's in Melrose Park. That's why they call it Melrose Park and not Chicago. I can't imagine there being any location in Chicago that would be closer to me when I live in Chicago that's Mel that's closer than Melrose Park. Anyway, here's what we got. Let's try it out. Here's the the burrito. It is not very uh, big, it's very unassuming. It's three dollars and forty nine cents. The Load of fries as well as three dollars and forty nine cents, and yeah, I got some a spork. Give me two sporks and three packs of Diablo sauce and some napkins. I do have a uh, blue raspberry lemonade freezy that I will be also consuming. I don't know if I've had this flavor yet or not. But uh, the blue and the, the yellow make for green, obviously. Not bad. All right, here we go. You can get this in steak or black bean. Interestingly enough, they don't have an option for regular Taco Bell meat or chicken. The burrito's kind of falling apart. Let's go ahead and give the burrito a taste. You can see in there that white ranch sauce. They do have the nacho fries in the burrito as well. So I really think these have 
similar if not the same ingredients. Yeah, I think there's tomatoes in here as well. There's plenty of that white hot ranch sauce in here. There's also a cheese sauce. We got the steak in there. Very tender as usual. So, what do I think about the white hot ranch sauce? Maybe I should have asked for like another burrito that just had the regular spicy ranch sauce. It's good. It tastes like a spicy ranch. I guess the biggest question is, is it spicier? Is it spicy enough? I can tell, definitely say it's whiter than their spicy ranch sauce. Their typical spicy ranch sauce has that like chipotle flavor uh, color to it. So they do call it white hot and it is white. Or maybe that's sour cream. It'll probably be easier to tell on the nachos. The loaded nacho fries it is. Decent burrito. Alright. There's definitely some spice to it. And let me get my spork utensil. The loaded nacho fries feels heavier than the burrito was. So, there's a big amount of that white sauce on here. But is it white hot ranch or is it sour cream? Well, it is spicy and it is ranchy. So I think that's the white hot ranch sauce, not just a bunch of sour cream. So, it's not like triggeringly spicy. Usually when I'm eating something that like my body is going to react to being spicy, the first thing that happens is I get uh, hiccups. And none of that is happening here. It's tasty. It's good. Looking at it, it's like indistinguishable in looks to sour cream. But then when you actually taste it, it has that ranchiness flavor to it. And it has a kick to it. It's weird seeing like a pure white sauce that has those flavors to it. Because typically when you look at ranch, you associate ranch with like those flecks of seasoning. And this doesn't have those in it. And spice wise, it's nowhere near the spiciness of a ghost pepper or a reaper pepper. So if they're saying they're using that, then it's gotta be a really small amount, really watered down.
or in this case, ranched out. It is tasty. It is a spicy ranch. Now, without having their regular spicy ranch as a comparison, it's hard for me to say with 100% certainty just how much spicier it is. I will say that I can say with 95% confidence that it is spicier than their spicy ranch sauce, but by how much, it doesn't seem like a lot. But it's good. Um, it's being a test product, it has to be different enough that it could either go alongside of or replace the thing most similar to it. So, in my opinion, will this test product go national? I'm leaning towards no. I'm leaning towards this is not different enough from the regular Spicy Ranch for it to be worth them either replacing or being alongside of. Excuse me. If it uh, if it's either one of those, it'll probably be replacing. Just because it's just a little bit spicier. And I think if you're going for the Spicy Ranch thing, then you're probably already okay with the amount of spice that's in this. Um, it was about a, for me, low traffic during the lunch period that I'm doing this review on. Uh, it was about a 25 minute drive from where I am pretty much in the middle of the city to out here in Mellors Park. And most of that was a straight shot down the interstate. So, as a product overall, well, as a product taste-wise, I like it. I like a spicy ranch. I think it tastes good in the burrito. I think it tastes good on loaded fries. Um, as a test product, I don't think it's going to be, I don't think it's going to go national. It doesn't seem like it has enough, uh... Uh, catch, you know, if they were to start advertising this, I don't think they'd have enough people excited about it. I think after people tasted it a couple times, they wouldn't uh, continue with it and probably want their regular spicy ranch back if it replaces it. So overall, I like it. It's a it's like a eight and eight point three out of ten. Either way, you get it. But as a <clears throat> potential new product that's testing, uh, I'm going to say that it's not going to go national. I'm not going to give that a number. I'm going to say it's not going to go national. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully my hat's not scratching my microphone every so often so it makes weird noises during the whole review. Anyway, we'll see you guys later. Bye.